Hello, 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 Catherine Story here, your fashion style. Hey, Pat. Hello, hello, come on in, come on in. Hey, Penny, welcome, guys, welcome, come on in. This is past the cast. I'm so excited. Come on in. Hey, Shani. Come on in. Hello there. How are you, Felicia? How are you? Thank you for coming in. Come on in, guys. And as you come in, invite your followers. As you come in, invite your followers. Always cool. Keisha, how are you? Hey, Shani. Shani, how are you? Dr. Kim, how are you? Thank you for being here. I'm so excited. Past the cast is here again. Super duper excited. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in. I am Catherine Storing, your fashion stylist and confidence building coach. I am so super duper excited. Hello there. How are you? So lovely to see you guys. We're going to get started in just a minute. So come on in and invite your followers. Uh, very blessed. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Ari, very, very blessed. Thank you so much for being here. Um, so this is uh, the Pastor Cast with the Dream Team. Uh, Pastor Kim and Tina Moore, we are doing this every Thursday night. We are so excited. I have something prepared for you guys today. So you got to make sure that you come in because we have something really awesome prepared for you today. So thank you so much for being here. Can you let me know if you can hear me and see me okay? I want to make sure because pretty much every Thursday we have um connection issues so if you can see me and hear me type a one yes okay i see the hearts coming thank you so much as you're coming in invite your followers we're gonna get started in just a minute awesome you can see me and hear me okay i love it i love it thank you so much for being here i so appreciate you guys i'm back from vacation as you can see i got a little bit of color i still have ways to go but i am great i'm grateful uh to have been able to be with my family hey Faye. hey tina how are you how are you, my sister? Nice to see you. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you guys for being here. I'm going to introduce myself in just a second, but I want to make sure that we are all here. I have my notes here. That means that you have to grab a pen and you have to grab a notebook, okay? If you don't have one, go grab it. Because what happens is we think we're going to remember and we don't. We forget. I don't know about you, but I forget things all the time. And there is Pastor Kim. Thank you for being here. So make sure that you grab a notebook and you grab a pen. Grab a notebook and grab a pen because we're going to be sharing some awesome stuff today and you don't want to miss it. You do not want to miss it. Thank you so much for inviting your followers. Thank you for being here, guys. Hey, Monique, thank you for coming in. Lossie, El Shed, thank you for guys are coming in. You're right on time. You're right on. Hey, sis, how are you? You guys are right on time. You don't want to miss this. So if you don't have a pen and you don't have a notebook, you have about four seconds. You have about four seconds to get, to get, grab it because we're going to get started. Okay. We're going to get started from the bronze. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. So again, for those of you that just got here, my name is Catherine Storing. I am a fashion stylist, a confidence building coach and woman of faith. All three at the same time. Thank you so much, sister. And I am also a TEDx speaker. I have four books. My very favorite, Styling Faith, that complete style guide. At the end of the cast, I'm going to let you know how you can get a free copy of the audio version. So you want to stay here. Felicia from South Carolina, welcome. I just met somebody else that was new. Thank you so much for being here. And we're keeping things moving because we're going to have two more ladies, two more women of God talking tonight. And it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. So my topic is purpose, dressing up your purpose today. Dressing up your purpose today. Make sure that you tap on that screen so I know you're still there and that you participate. Hello there, first timer. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hello, Mr. T. I uh, thank you for being here. So, yeah. That's just the way it is. We judge people all the time on a regular basis. We judge people on a regular basis. You know that you've been judged all the time. So if you're going to open your mouth, if you're going to represent the father, don't you think that there are going to be so many things that people are going to be against, that people are going to say, I don't think, I, I don't want to believe you. I don't want to hear that. How do you make yourself likable? You are clean. You're dressed well, your breath smells well, your hair is done properly, and you're humble. And you're willing, ready, and available. Willing, ready, and available every single time. Because again, like we read on Luke 12, 35 and 36, we don't know when he's coming. We don't know. So we have to be ready all of the time. All the time we have to be ready. 
All the time means all the time, right? All the time. Let's go to Ephesians 4, 24 and 22. Ephesians 4, 22 and 24. Ephesians 4, 22 and 24. Let's go there. Can somebody type that for me? Ephesians 4, 22 to the 20, to the 24th. Okay. And we're going to go read here from the Amplify version. And this is going to be really good. Okay. It's going to help a lot of people. You ask me how, how do you dress presentable? How do you dress likable? Thank you so much, uh, Sister Tina. Ephesians 4, 22 through 24th. Okay. Hey, Vern. Thank you so much for inviting your uh, followers, my brother. The Amplify version. Regarding your previous way of life. Put off your old self. Completely discard your former nature. I'm going to stop that right here. Hey, Don, thank you for inviting your followers. I'm going to stop that right there. Put off your old self. Many of you have dressed in ways that are inappropriately. Many of you have, have a different life that was not God honoring. And you probably went places that you shouldn't have gone back in the day. Now you are a woman and a man of God and things are different. But many of you, Many of you have not changed the way you dress, have not changed where you go. And he says right here that you have to put off your all self. That's right, sister. Your all self completely discard your former nature. That's right. Back in the day, back in the day, sister, which has been corrupted through deceitful desires and be continually renewed. Hello there, Matt. How are you? Continually renewed in the spirit of your mind, having a fresh untarnished mental and spiritual attitude. Oh my goodness. That's how you're presentable. That's how you take care of yourself. Putting off the old, putting on the new and stopping having those deceitful desires. Okay. Put on the new self. The regenerated and renewed nature created in God's image, created in God's image. Do you know that you are created in God's image? So if you and I are created in God's image, what kind of outfit are you going to put on? How are you going to do your hair? Can you guys hear me? Are you still there? Because I don't see any hearts. I don't see you guys participating. So I want to make sure that you can hear me. I want to make sure that you can hear me. If you and I are created in God's image, how are you going to dress the best? That's right. How are you going to present yourself? Because you are created in God's image. Do you think that anything will do? Anything. No one, no worries, my sister. Anything will not do. Your hair cannot look all kinds of crazy. You cannot just wear any shoes. You cannot just wear any old dress. Christ-like. Amen. You are created in God's image. In God's image. In the righteousness and holiness of the truth. Living in a way that expresses to God your gratitude for your salvation. Oh my goodness. I love that. I'll say that one more time. In a way that expresses to God your gratitude for your salvation. Are you grateful for your salvation? Do you know that our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit? Our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. How are you taking care of that body? How are you taking care of that body? Yes, I will answer questions later, my friend. Thank you. How are you taking care of your body? Are you being grateful for your salvation? Are you grateful for your salvation? Are you putting all the all and putting on the new? Because you recognize that you are created in God's image. In God's image. You're grateful. Amen. Who, is, who else is grateful? Who else is grateful? Now, you know that I am a fashion stylist, I'm a confidence building coach, but more than anything, I am a woman of faith. More than anything, I am a woman of faith. So I'm talking about uh, the outside, but more importantly, the inside. And the inside is going to be addressed um, by looking at Colossians 3.10. Colossians 3.10. Can you guys type that uh, for me? And that's going to be also the Amplify version. The Amplify version. Thank you so much for inviting your followers. Thank you for tapping on that screen. Thank you so much, my sister Tina, because that lets me know that you're still here and that you're paying attention and that the word is speaking to you. Okay. Colossians 3.10 says, and have put on the new spiritual self who is continually renewed in true 
knowledge in the image of him who created the new self. Oh my goodness. Somebody needed to hear right now that they are created new. You, my sister, you, my brother, are created new. You are a new creation. All the things that you have done in the past are gone. It doesn't matter what you have done. It doesn't matter. So you have to dress because you are created. You are a new image. You are a new creation. So all the things that you have done in the past, it doesn't matter. You can dress like a godly woman. You can dress like a godly man because you are a new creation. Who needed to hear that today? Who was feeling down today and saying, you know what? I don't know. I have done some things. I have been some places and God cannot forgive me. God cannot forget that about me. Amen. Thank sister. Thank you so much for your honesty. But guess what? He has created you new. You are a new creation and you are being renewed all the time in his knowledge. You are being renewed every single day. Amen, sister. Every single day you are renewed. Thank you, my brother. Yes, we all have been there. We all have done things. So we think we have to dress in ways that are like humble and be in the background. You were not created for the background. That's not what you were created to do. That's not what you're supposed to be. You were created to take center stage. You were created to share what God has done in your life. That's right. Ready inside and out. Amen. Inside and out. Oh my goodness. Who needed to hear that they are made new, that everything that you have done. Sorry, sister. Yeah, I think some people are having some connection issues. Sorry about that. Who needed to know that they are created new every day, every day. So my sister, my brother, if you have been struggling with that, please know that you are new, that all the things that you have done are passed away. They're not longer here. You have been forgiven. You have been redeemed. You have been forgiven. You have been redeemed. Oh my goodness gracious. That is good right there. I hope that's good for you because that's good for me too. That is good for me as well. Thank you, Jesus. Just to wrap up real quick. What does that mean? What does that mean for you and for me? Thank you, my brother. Thank you so much. Hello there. Proverbs 31, 32. I know that you guys are very familiar with that. Many of you are familiar with that, but I'm going to give you another, another perspective, okay? Proverbs 31 and 22, the Amplified Version. Proverbs 31 and 22. Type that in for me so I know that you can hear me and you can see me. Thank you, my sister. Proverbs 31 and 22. Are you guys ready? I hope you're taking notes because you think you're going to remember, but you're not going to remember. You forget. You get excited. And then if you have to go shopping and clean the house, you forget. Proverbs 31 and 22. She makes for her herself coverlets, cushions, and rugs of tapestry. Her clothing is linen, pure and fine and purple, meaning wool. Okay. Her clothing is linen, Pure and fine and purple, okay? Her clothing is linen, the best of the best, pure and fine. You're going to hate me right now, but I say this to you in love. Be, get ready. I'm saying this to you right now, and I say it in love. How many of you have clothes in your closet that are beneath the woman and the man that God created you to be? I want, to, I want you to be honest right now and say, Catherine, I have things in my closet that are beneath the woman and the man that God created me to be. Thank you, my sister Tia. Thank you so much. Who else has clothing and shoes and things in their closet that are beneath the man and the woman God created you to be? Be honest. Be honest right now. I hope you can still hear me and see me. I know we've been having some technical issues, so hang in there. Who has things in their closets that are beneath the woman that God created you to be? Beneath the man that God created you to do? Proverbs 31 and 22 says, Her clothing, and that applies to men too, is linen, pure and fine, and purple. Pure and fine, and purple. You have to go to your closet and you have to get rid of everything that is not pure and fine 
everything that is not pure and fine. I'm not kidding right now. You are not supposed to look anything other than pure and fine. Right now, who is ready to look pure and fine? Pure and fine. If you follow me, you know that my hashtag is all kinds of fine. You know that, right? That's my hashtag. All kinds of fine. That's what I was created to do. That's what I was created to be. Pure and fine. Anything else is below the person that God created me to be. Anything below pure and fine is below what God created me to be. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. My goodness. Who is ready to say, I am done. I am done. I am done looking like I don't belong to anyone. Just say, I'm done. Just type, I'm done. I'm done. Who, who is done? Who is done? I am not dressing like that anymore. Just type done. Just said, I'm done. I'm done doing that. I know who I am. I know what I'm supposed to look like. Pure and fine. Amen. Amen, guys. Thank you so much. Pure and fine. Pure and fine. Nothing else. Your purpose requires you. Your purpose requires you to look pure and fine. Amen. Thank you, guys. Pure and fine. Nothing else and nothing more. Pure and fine. So tomorrow morning, when you're going to your closet and you're going to put something else on, remember, my sister Catherine told me that I have to look pure and fine today. Not just fine. Many of you are able to do that. But pure and fine. Pure and fine. Don't forget the pure part. Do not forget the, that's right, sister. Do not forget the pure part. Cause many of you can, can dress fine, but pure and fine, that's a high quality that a godly woman and a godly man can do. A godly woman and a godly man can do. If you want to, and I'll wrap this up because my sister Tina, uh, more is, is next. Make sure that you put in some emojis. She's gonna start very soon in about four minutes. So make sure that you follow her. She's going to start very soon. To wrap up, you can find me at stylingfaith.com. There she is. Follow her. She'll start right at 6. She'll start right at 6. So make sure that you follow her. If you want to if you want to find me, if you want to make sure that you can look pure and fine, you can grab a copy of stylingfaith.com. I'll sign it for you and everyone that gets a copy uh, a, a printed copy, I will give you a copy of the audio version. I will give you the audio version if you get the printed copy of stylingfaith.com. That's my sister Kim there typing the website for me. Thank you, sister Tina. I appreciate that. Yeah, I love the cover too. So everyone that gets a copy of stylingfaith.com will get a copy of the audio version. So you can get it on my website, stylingfaith.com stylingfaith.com. This book is not just about looking fine. I, I made a point. I made a point to write a book that will be worthy of my father. I made a point to write a book that says that teaches women how to dress pure and fine, pure and fine. You are missing the mark, my sisters and my brothers too. You are missing the mark. If you only take care of looking fine, that's not enough. That is not enough. You have to dress pure and fine. That's my website right there. If you're not following, make sure that you're following me and you head over to stylingfaith.com if you are ready to look pure and fine. Sister Tina, you're going to go on very soon. Type in some more emojis. Yeah, get that book. Get that book. It's going to be a blessing in your life. It's going to be a blessing in your life. Sister Tina, type again. Follow her. Um, she's going to be on in about uh, right at 6. Right at six, she's going to be on. I have three minutes to answer any questions. I know uh, brother Mr. T had some questions. Um, let me know if you have any questions real quick, and I'll try to answer them as fast as I can. Thank you so much for watching the Past the Cast with the Dream Team. We are all women of God. That's right, pure and fine. Got to make your inside clean first, then the outer man. Amen, Philip. That's right. That's right. Remember, pure and fine, absolutely. Sister Tina's gonna be on. Do you guys have any questions? I wanna make sure that I, I finish up leaving nothing on the table, making sure that you heard everything that I said. If you did not take notes, watch the replay. You still have time to invite your followers so they can 
watch the replay. So if you haven't um, invited followers in a while, make sure that you do invite your, thank you, Sister Tia, invite your followers right now so they can watch the replay and then we can tell them to watch Sister Tina. Sister Tina, one more time and we'll head it over to you. Thank you so much for inviting your followers, D. Sister Tina, put in some more, some more emojis and we'll, fa we'll jump on your, on your pasta cast. There she is, looking fabulous, looking pure and fine at the same time. She's going to start very, very soon. Thank you, Sister Kim. Oh my goodness, this is so awesome. God is good. Any day that I get to get in here and share the gospel and share what God has done in the word is good. It's a good day. It's a good day. Thank you, Sister Kim Winters. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here. All right, guys. Let's jump on Sister Tina. I think she's going to be on any minute. So jump on her uh, cast. All kinds of fine inside and out. I love that, uh, Sister Kim. I love that. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for hanging out. And thank you for paying attention, for participating, and for being ready. For being ready to be a different woman, be a different man, and be all kinds of fine inside and out. Thank you for being here. We're going to watch uh, Sister Tina. So jump on her cast right now. Come on, go ahead. Jump on her cast. I'll see you there. I will see you there. Thank you so much. Thank you for being awesome. And I will see you soon. Remember, stylingfaith.com. Stylingfaith.com. Okay? Stylingfaith.com. Thanks for the hearts, guys. See you soon.